What's up cloud gamers, welcome back to the CGX channel. So AT&T is using Google's immersive stream again to add another game to their Play Now library to add to Batman Arkham Knight that they added last fall, and that is Control Ultimate Edition. You can play this on your PC, your tablet, or your phone for any AT&T customer here in the States. So once you put your birth date in here, you'll get taken to the next page where you'll need to put in your mobile number, your zip code, check off these boxes here, and then decide which game you wanna jump into. Of course, we have the newly added Control Ultimate Edition we're going to check out and then they still have Batman Arkham Knight on here to play as well so you'll be able to pick either one of these so we'll go ahead and click on control it'll take us over to the next page pretty quickly where we'll be able to play uh, click play now to actually get into the game same thing for Arkham Knight if you were to jump in there so we'll click play now and get into control I'm going to do this real time as well so you can see the little pop-ups that happen here but this is our little launch menu this is telling us about being able to use a keyboard a mouse a controller uh, that type of thing and shift escape to get to your menu and to exit the game. So it doesn't take very long, and I'll go ahead and launch this right into the game here. And while that's happening, we're also gonna go in and take a look at the actual menu you bring up here with Shift Escape, which is just very reminiscent, of course, of the Stadia menu. So you go in here and you'll see we have our connection, and then you have your uh, resolution down here. So we're 1080p 60, or you could be 720p if you would prefer that. This is the only two options that you'll have for each game, and then we have our controller options and help. And then our little power icon here is to exit the game. So all pretty standard, nothing uh, major there. Let's go ahead and get into the settings. Nothing uh, that's a big deal here. Typical settings for control for gameplay, uh, your control settings, audio, that type of thing. But in display, we're going to go in here and we're going to turn off, well, actually in audio here, we have uh, copyrighted music mute, which I like when they put that in game. So we'll check that. Uh, we're going to turn off film grain and motion blur here. Uh, you can see it says high frame rate and graphics, but you actually can't change that. They're giving you the locked 1080p 60 experience, so you can't click the graphics mode which would be a 30 fps mode uh, so with that out of the way let's go ahead and take a look at the gameplay now coming into the gameplay i kind of knew to, what to expect seeing that it's google's immersive streaming aka stadia tech that's running the game and i kind of know what a 1080p stream should look like with that and it's on par with what i would expect with something like stadia running 1080p a little bit of bitrate stuff and pixelation here and there but not too much a fairly clean stream for what it is and we won't have any issues with that but when it comes to moving around there's a lot more stutters than i expected to see here unfortunately uh that kind of stuff does drive me a little nutty when it comes to cloud if you have a lot of stutters happening or miss frames but it is what it is you are playing the game for free but i do remember batman having a little bit of that as well um, even though the stream stays clean enough and latency is good which we'll talk about the um the visual quality of the games and the stream stutter uh, are the only two real complaints that i have now, getting into just being able to play though, latency is on point and just fine as you would expect. Whether you're on your controller, uh, Bluetooth or wired, or on your keyboard and mouse, whatever the case is, you're not gonna have any problems with aiming, running around, doing what you need to do. Latency feels good. It doesn't feel too floaty or or anything like that. It's, it's pretty decent. And like I said, as far as the stream quality, that's pretty good as well for what 1080p is here through the browser. And it doesn't dip or, or, or pixelate or buffer like some services might do. It stays looking pretty good. It's really just the stuttering that you'll get uh, when you're moving around in the game during the stream and the visual quality is a bit lower and not necessarily the best representation of the game uh, but it is free to play and it does work so it's a great little perk for AT&T customers to be able to go in and play Control and Batman Arkham Knight. I think that's a pretty uh, cool thing to offer. I don't know really where they're going with this or how many other games they'll add, um, but we'll definitely test them out as they do. So anyways, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, leave us your comment down below. We'll be sure to check that out. And thanks a lot for coming to watch. We really appreciate it.